why Jesus had to encounter Moses and Elijah at the Mount of Transfiguration. The Mount of Transfiguration stands as a pivotal moment in the New Testament, where Jesus underwent a profound transformation, radiating divine glory on a mountaintop before witnesses Peter, James, and John. During this remarkable event, two iconic figures from the Old Testament, Moses and Elijah, made their appearance and engaged in conversation with Jesus. This event is recounted in the New Testament books of Matthew 17-19, Mark 9-28, and Luke 9-28-36. The question naturally arises, why did Jesus specifically meet with Moses and Elijah on this occasion? While the Bible does not provide a direct explanation, their presence carries deep theological and symbolic significance, which we will explore. Representation of the Law and the Prophets Moses and Elijah, standing side by side with Jesus during the Transfiguration, create a powerful and symbolic image that goes beyond mere visual representation. It serves as a divine affirmation of the continuity of God's redemptive plan throughout history. To fully grasp the significance of this event, we must delve into the symbolic roles of Moses and Elijah as representatives of the Law and the Prophets, respectively. A. Moses and the Law Moses occupies a central role in the Old Testament as the chosen instrument through which God liberated the Israelites from Egyptian bondage. His life was marked by unique encounters with God, including the moment when God allowed him to see his glory. Moses not only received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai but also established the foundation of the law, Torah, that would govern the lives of the Israelites. The law was not a mere set of rules but a covenant that defined the relationship between God and his chosen people. Moses, as the lawgiver, served as a conduit for God's standards of holiness, righteousness, and justice. b. Elijah and the Prophets Elijah, on the other hand, is known for his dramatic confrontations with corrupt rulers and his unwavering commitment to the God of Israel. Prophets like Elijah played a crucial role in guiding, rebuking, and reminding Israel of their covenant responsibilities. They also provided glimpses into the future, pointing to the coming Messiah who would reconcile humanity with God. Jesus, the culmination of law and prophecy. The appearance of Moses and Elijah alongside Jesus was not a random occurrence. It carried profound meaning. Jesus stands at the intersection of the law and the prophets, embodying the fulfillment of both. He did not come to abolish the law but to fulfill it completely. As the Apostle Paul wrote, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. The transfiguration serves as a pivotal moment, affirming that all that the law communicated and the prophets foretold found their ultimate realization in Jesus Christ. The voice from above, ultimate affirmation. While the radiant transformation of Jesus and the presence of Moses and Elijah are awe-inspiring, the climax of the transfiguration is marked by the voice from heaven. This divine voice declared, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, hear him. This proclamation directed all attention and authority to Jesus, underscoring his unparalleled significance in God's grand narrative. The Mount of Transfiguration was a profoundly significant event in the life of Jesus and his disciples. Moses and Elijah's presence alongside Jesus symbolized the culmination of the law and the prophets in him. The voice from heaven affirmed Jesus as the long-awaited Messiah, the fulfiller of prophecies, and the ultimate revelation of God to humanity. This event served to deepen the disciples' understanding of Jesus' divine nature and solidify their faith in him as the Savior of the world. Ultimately, the core message remains clear, Jesus Christ is God incarnate. This truth is foundational to salvation, and every believer must anchor their faith in the biblical Jesus, recognizing him as the eternal word and the bridge between humanity and the divine. In a world filled with diverse religious doctrines and beliefs, the foundational truth that Jesus Christ is God remains unshakable. It is imperative to acknowledge and embrace this truth for several reasons. Exclusive path to salvation. Jesus himself declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14 verse 6. This statement underscores the exclusivity of Christ as the sole path to salvation. 
In a culture that often promotes inclusivity and tolerance of all beliefs, Christians must boldly proclaim that salvation is found only in Jesus Christ. Fulfillment of prophecies. The Old Testament abounds with prophecies pointing to the coming Messiah. Moses and Elijah, representing the law and the prophets, bore witness to the fulfillment of these prophecies in Jesus. His birth, life, death, and resurrection align with the prophetic utterances of the Old Testament, confirming his divine identity. Reconciliation with God. Through his divinity, Jesus bridges the gap between humanity and God. He is both fully God and fully human, making him the perfect mediator. As God incarnate, he offers forgiveness of sins and reconciliation with the Father, providing humanity with access to God's grace and love. Eternal life. Jesus declared, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. John chapter 11 verse 25. The belief in Jesus as God grants the assurance of eternal life. He conquered death through his resurrection, offering the hope of life beyond the grave to all who place their trust in him. Moral and ethical foundation. The teachings of Jesus, rooted in his divine nature, provide a moral and ethical foundation for living. His commandments to love one another, show mercy, and seek justice reflect the very character of God. Recognizing Jesus as God underscores the importance of living in alignment with these principles. Spiritual transformation. Accepting Jesus as God is transformative. It involves not merely an intellectual acknowledgement but a heartfelt surrender to his lordship. This surrender brings about a spiritual rebirth, as individuals are ind welt by the Holy Spirit and empowered to live a life that honors God. In conclusion, the encounter of Jesus with Moses and Elijah on the Mount of Transfiguration serves as a profound reminder of his divine identity. It reinforces the truth that Jesus is the culmination of God's redemptive plan, the embodiment of the law and the prophets, and the savior of the world. This revelation is not confined to a historical event but remains relevant and essential for believers today. As followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to boldly proclaim his deity, share the good news of salvation through him, and live our lives in accordance with his teachings. In a world searching for meaning and truth, the recognition of Jesus as God offers hope, purpose, and the promise of eternal life to all who believe.